Morning guys, it's about 4 o'clock p.m. here on Sunday, and this day has gotten the opposite of how we planned it to go. So I just spent about three and a half hours mowing this lawn. A couple reasons, you cannot believe how wet it is from all of the rain we've had. Uh, one, and two, all the leaves, these have come down in the last five minutes, all the leaves would uh, fill up the thing in about five minutes, meaning I'd have to go back there and dump it just miserable. So now I'm taking these hoses in where the sprinklers were and I gotta crawl back there, pull this hose out and uh, get it away for the winter. So I just spent like five minutes talking to the camera and I realized that when I hit the on button it would go off and when I hit the off button it would go on. So we're gonna redo this. But I just got um, my sprinklers and the hoses put away. That's like step two, uh, or step one and two. But the actual hardest part is getting the pump out of here. You probably remember when I put it in, um, back in the spring that the water is too high. 2011 has been the rainiest year I think that we've had at least in my lifetime uh, over here. So I put this pump in in May or June and there's usually a foot of water in here. We've easily got two maybe three feet so that's all water that we usually don't have. As you can see this pipe is supposed to come over and out. Well it's down there for some reason so I gotta figure that out. But that's the actual pump there, so I've got to go put my waders on, come back here, and pull it out. Usually around here, our uh, summer to fall transition, you know, each summer we've got 80s and 90s, and then we kind of go down into the 70s and 80s for a while, then the 60s and 70s. Well, this year we've gone from the 70s and 80s immediately down into the 50s, with the exception of yesterday and today. It's just so, they're, they're such defined um, points of change in our weather. It's never been like this. It's never good, but it's never been this bad. So my waders are down in this mess. Here they are. I've only used them once, putting the thing in, so I guess we'll see if they're still waterproof, taking it out. Okay, so uh, we're suited up now. Yeah. Classy, huh? I got myself a screwdriver and some scissors in my pocket, because that's a good idea. And we're coming down here to take that pump out now, so we'll see how wet I get. All right, well, it's definitely deeper than um, two feet, but it's not three feet. All the way over here, the pressure on my legs right now, the water through these boots is pretty insane. Um, it really feels like somebody's grabbing onto my legs and holding them as hard as they can. But uh, here is the pump, and as you can see, we've got some pretty substantial logs that have come in around this thing. There's my wiring, just underwater in electrical tape. I had it on a couple minutes ago, and it worked fine, so it must be good electrical tape. But... Um, We've got all this crap over here. So right now I'm just trying to figure out how the hell I'm going to get those wires undone. Right now there, there's no live power here. The live power stops up at the house up there. But I don't think I can get this out today. The water's just too high for me to get down in there and cut that. And then there's just a, a clamp there that I've got to unscrew. And then you really have to hold on to the pump pretty hard and it's just too deep. So now that I have everything untaped, I threw the tape up there so I can get it out of here. Um, I really hope we don't have a big storm or anything before I can come down here next and undo this because there is nothing holding it um, to that stake anymore. That stuff's falling all over the place, but that's going to suck. So it, it can rain, but it just can't have a torrential downpour again because it'll just get dicked. There's a lot of tadpole crab things. They've got like crab antlers on them. I don't know what the hell they are. They're all over the place. You'll never see them on camera because this camera kind of sucks. And you may be able to see over here, probably not, that this is, I don't want to say quicksand, but it feels like what you'd expect quicksand to feel like. Um, I mean, it, it's weird. You stand in it and you just continuously sink about four inches and then you really have to pull hard to get your feet up, um, which sucks. But I made it and then I didn't lose any of my tools, so we'll just hope it doesn't rain a lot now. How the hell am I supposed to get through this? There are huge spiders over here, and I don't really like spiders. But I don't have much of a choice, but maybe to go through here. Okay. Jesus. See all this brush over here that is moved over? That means that the water was up here, which is a good five feet higher than down there. So over the summer, we've had water levels between five and seven feet higher than what you see now, which is abnormally high. Check it out. You see that cloud of, of smoke down there? That's from where the quicksand was. Look at that. It's just denser than water, I guess. It's staying on the bottom. Oh, that's nuts. You can't see it because of the reflections, but 
pretty crazy. Yo, so we're out biking now. What time is it? You're the watchman. Yeah, I'm the watchman. Without a watch, the hell yeah, is that? 7.38. 7.38 p.m. We're down here. It's pretty dark. Um, we've decided that since most of the nice cars come out at night, <laughs> we're going to come out here at night. And by the way, we used no brakes getting down here. We wanted to see if we could do it. Did we do it? We did it in record time. We got here in record time with no brakes. Uh, we only passed one cop with no brakes. He didn't pull us over for having a light out, so that's good. But we get here and there's nothing nice yet. So we're going to wait and eat snacks until something nice comes. Well, guys, we were right. We're here. There's an Aston Martin DB9. Is it a Volant? Yeah, it's a Volant. It's a little dark. But, yeah, you come down here at night, you find nice cars. It's got Marshall Goldman plates on it. Maybe over here you'll see it a little better in the light. But I found it. I'm proud. Proud of my find. It's a beautiful car. Over here. We got deer. Oh. Okay, so friggin' uh, we're on the way home now. There's all the light that I have. Uh, I can actually see where I'm going, but you can't. And I smell wieners. I'll be honest when I tell you I have never eaten a wiener, never had a hot dog, never had a hamburger, ever. Most of you probably don't know that Colt, Ken and Taylor, you guys do, that's about it. I just haven't eaten those things. They've never appealed. I've never looked at a wiener wrapped in condiments and thought, wow, that looks good, I want to eat it. So yeah, there's just a little fun fact. But the uh, reason I bring up food is I'm going by this guy's house over there and it smells so good of like, Wow, my brakes get moist at night and they're really bad. But what he, whatever he was cooking out, it was obviously hamburgers or steak or something that I probably wanted to eat that smelled really good. And now I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go in and get some food, put this together. I have no homework, so I'll catch up on you some YouTube or something. Um, this car has been rained on now for look at this spider. It's been rained on now for like a solid week. And it doesn't look bad. It's really not that bad. I mean, I've cleaned the wheels. Roof's fine. There's crap down here, but that's it. So it's not that bad. All right, well, I'm talking too much. So I'll go inside now. You guys can click on to your next video. Tell me in the comments below, what are you gonna do after this video? Some of you I may not wanna hear from, but if it's legal, let me know. All right, good night guys. Talk to you tomorrow.